What's up guys, Ben Vez here and welcome back to another episode of Draft to Glory. Today will be my first Bundesliga team of the season, Draft to Glory episode. We're of course going to build the offline and the online draft together now in Draft to Glory. And um, as per yesterday's episode when we packed that team of the season, Bellerin, he sold for 169,000 coins. That puts us well over 1.1 million coins again. Now before we get into today's video, first of all, drop a thumbs up. Let's try and smash 10k likes. That'd be awesome. And secondly, if you want any Division 1 t-shirt, they are now in stock. Link to my uh, clothing store is down below, guys, nepodesigns.com. These t-shirts, as per requested by you, range from extra small all the way up to triple extra large. And if you use the discount code BLUE at checkout, you'll get 20% off of everything. So with that being said, let's get into the first draft, of course, the online draft. We have now got Bundesliga team of the season in draft and uh, of those formations i'm probably going to go with three four two one i haven't used it in quite a while so we'll uh we'll test it out now and we get ourselves douglas costa team of the season what a way to start things off what a great player to have if we could get ourselves uh at thomas muller that would be great now i am i am like personally quite disappointed with the um with the draft i'm not gonna lie with the uh, bundesliga team of the season i think it's pretty woeful um i'm gonna wait and pick that bail because if we can get blue mkhitaryan that'd be great and um, yeah, I thought I, I expected more, more more Bayern and more um, more Bayern and more Dortmund players in it. Only three from Bayern, three from Dortmund, and two from relegated Stuttgart, which is crazy. It's crazy. What are you doing, EA? What were you thinking? Um, anyway, a bit of a mixed start for today's uh, episode so far. Ooh, that blue Ronaldo. It would be rude not to, wouldn't it? If we could go Ronaldo, Bale, Benzema up front, or Suarez. And then Bundesliga in behind. That would be good. So we're trying to get... We've got four leagues, four different leagues so far. Um, we'll take ourselves Montana's there. Because nothing else works. So Montana's... And he was actually good for us. We won a draft with him in the squad. Now, Thomas Muller, I can't get in this position. Because he's a... Well, I can get the 89 version. But I can't get the 94 version because he's a centre forward. Not a uh, centre mid. But I'm tempted to take this 89 rated version. Because he... He would be good, wouldn't he? And I've, I've got nothing else here that fits. Like, it, it, it would be stupid of me not to take him. So we're going to have to do it. Um, we get another Bundesliga guy there, Gerhard. And uh, he gets a strong link as well. So we'll take him. Um, you know, we're doing all right with the team so far. Uh, but it's not exactly what I would have wanted. And we'll take that uh, Godin there as well. I could take Socrates, but I'm hoping that we'll get more Bundesliga. It looks like we're going to build a La Liga slash Bundesliga team. Um, apart from the fact that we've got no La Liga or Bundesliga players here. We've got, we've got Spanish, German and Brazilian. So we could take David Luiz here and swap him uh, swap him with Godin. He'll get a link to uh, Douglas Costa there on the right-hand side. And the last centre-back that we're going to be picking... Why is it giving me this Inform Jardel again? It just doesn't make sense. Like, none of these players help. So we'll go with the highest rate. We'll go with Panucci because, like, just none of them help. And we'll go for the goalkeeper. Oh, my God. I guess we could go with Costil. We get one link. Helton gets one link. Hits gets no links. Bizarri gets one link. And Valdez gets no link. So I, I think we'll go with, um... I think we'll go with Costil there. And uh, that's actually a really terrible draft. I probably could have drafted better. But because I want to go for these Bundesliga players, um, it's it's sometimes a little bit difficult to do so. Uh, we get ourselves Mario Goetz there. We get Marco Royce. I'll take that Marco Royce card. He could be very helpful to us. In fact, if we put him there, no, we lose Kem there. Um, I'm hoping for that Lewandowski, if I'm honest. If, if I get that 98 Lewandowski, that'd be fantastic. Right, there's a couple of Bundesligas here. Um... We could go with this guy. He, 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 you know, he could potentially be helpful. If we go full Bundesliga, he could potentially be helpful. Um, nothing here is helpful. That Di Maria, I guess that Di Maria does work. That, actually, that Di Maria definitely does work. We put him up there instead of Bale. And then we swap Costa and Di Maria around and boom. Uh, Costa's only on six chem. But it's better than being on no chem. Right? Right, of course it's better than being on no chem. Six above zero, obviously. Um, next up, City R, Premier League, League One, City R, and Russian League. Could take, take Fabinho here and put him in defence, but as a right wing back, he won't get anything. We'll take Kandreva there, um, just because we uh, just because we can. We got ourselves uh, Mkhitaryan again, but I want the team of the season version of him. I don't want the shitty version. 
Um, we could take this Hallow card. It's not great. We could take this Cavani card and just have him... Uh, could actually play him at left mid uh, if we get a better right mid and then put Dav uh, David Luiz over on the left-hand side. But this, this draft has been pretty bad. Uh, not you know not gonna lie, it has been pretty bad. We'll, we'll take Leno there as well for if we can get ourselves a Bundesliga defense. We're gonna need a miracle here. Um, we don't even get a Bundesliga defender. We do get Van der Wiel though, who could potentially be helpful. I think Van der Wiel will be very helpful actually if we put uh, Van der Wiel in here and then swap these two around. Wait, we actually lose chemistry there. Wait, what? How do we lose chemistry there? Ten. Oh, it's because David Luiz. That makes, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Or we could do... No, we'll leave, we'll leave it like that for now. We'll leave it like that for now. Um, next defender. And again, what is this? We do get ourselves one Bundesliga defensive at Hague. And he will actually connect with Van der Wiel as well. Right, well, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put Van Haag in here. I'm going to swap these two bad boys around. I'm then going to put Di Maria at left... Sorry, Cavani at left wing to get a link there. And that Marco Royce up in that spot there. Um, now we just need a striker. We need a good striker to connect all the dots because otherwise this is going to be a tragic, tragic team. Um, and that's not exactly what we want. And we get ourselves Robin. Robin actually works for us, doesn't he? On that right hand side. And then we could put, yeah, no, Robin, Robin's a good shout here. And we'll put Robin there instead of uh, him. And then if we swap those two around. Right, perfect. We're up to 82 chemistry now. We're doing all right. We are doing all right. It's, this is just such a mismatch of a team. It's such a poor team. Um, what's with all the City R players, man? I don't understand. Krykoviak just doesn't work anymore because we've got League 1 and Bundesliga. Uh, so we'll take the highest rated, which is Messer Ozil. And it hasn't thrown us many Team of the Season cards either. Uh, finally, we get a Team of the Season player there. We get Adariz, who doesn't help. We get Dries Mertens, who doesn't help. None of these players actually help us. Um... In fact, the, having uh, Jonas up front is probably the best help. We'll take Dirk out there. So that makes now two team of the seasons in this team. And then last but not least, there we go. We get ourselves one of the better players. We get Farman and we're going to put him in no matter what. I know he's going to lose his chemistry, but I want to play Farman in there um, just because he's new and he's 90 rated and he still gets seven chemistry, which isn't too shabby. Now, is there a way to improve this defense? We've got one... Uh, we can put Bonucci here and put Candre. Oh no, wait, Candreva's on the right side. That actually does help little things a little bit. Bonucci there. I want to get rid of like I want to put the centre backs on and get rid of the other guys. So if we did that and then that, that puts us up to seventy six. That's much better. Um, is there any other City R players here? There is not. There is... Is there any centre-backs? There is a Spanish League centre-back and a French League centre-back. Right, he actually gets us bonus chem there. And not there. So Farman, Farman goes down to four... Sorry, yeah, it is Farman. Farman goes down to four chem. That's really bad. It's better overall for the team. But it's really bad. Um, I, th I think, actually, that's probably the best that we're going to get. It's such a terrible team. Like, this is a really, really poor draft. Um, but, I, I mean, I, I know I could have made, like, a few changes here or there. But, in general, I didn't really get many options. But, let's let's change the team around anyway. 78 chem is what we're going with and what we're working with. Um, Verheig there just... Uh, I suppose if we put Verheig there, that's better. I would prefer it like that. Although, then David Luiz gets no chem. That's a shame. So if we did, if we did that, and then put Di Maria in here, a 78 chem, but then Bonucci gets no chem, but then Van der Wiel goes in, that gives us 81 chem. That is, that's got to be the best option for us there. That's everyone on a minimum of like six chem, with the exception of Van der Wiel. But in that instance, wouldn't it be better than to have a, a nobody in there? No, I think I think that's fine. Right, that's what we're going to go with. It's, it's a shame. It's a bad team. I understand, guys, this has been a bad draft. I know that you're sitting there saying the Panthers are a bad drafter. Every now and then, we, we just we just draft bad. Every now, It's not like it happens regularly. It's every now and then we draft bad. That is a bad draft. Let's see if we can get a manager that's really going to help. He keeps us at 81. He keeps us at 81. 
he puts us up to 84, he puts us up to 83, and he puts us up to 81. So we'll go with Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. We've now got 84 Ken with an 87 rated team for the first draft. That's a 171. So that's the online draft got done, guys. Now we'll go and uh, do this single player draft, and we'll see again if we can get ourselves a nice high rated team and see if we can get ourselves a um, a, a world record draft attempt. And we'll go with a 3 4 2 1 again. Um, just to give us the, the more options of getting these Bundesliga players. And we start off, what are they for captains? 86 rated Pogba as our best captain. That's got to be a joke. We'll take Pjanic um, because I don't like taking players that have better versions by like by the way of Pogba. Ooh, we get that Chicharito there. I know he's not the highest rated player there, but I will take him because I do I do like the Bundesliga players. Um and again, like I don't want to take that Mkhitaryan just in case we get his team of the season card. So we'll take Di Maria, uh, who's the highest rated out of all of those guys, and hope that we get Douglas Costa or Mkhitaryan here. We did not. Um, what have we got here? We've got Pjanic. Is there a City out here? There's literally three La Liga players, a Bundesliga and a Liga Nos. And I don't want to take Muller because I want his team of the season card. That's what we're going for. So we'll take the highest rated, which is Faguli. And uh, this team is going to be pretty damn trash, isn't it? Uh, we'll take Socrates this time. I could have took Socrates last time. I know I could have done in the, in the online draft. I could have taken Socrates. He would have really helped the team. I know that. Um, I didn't on purpose because I was hoping for bigger and better things. Um, unfortunately, I, I was wrong. You know, um, unfortunately, I, I took a risk that just did not pay off. Right, we get a uh, a nice Bundesliga player there. I'm just going to keep taking Bundesliga where possible for the offline because uh, oh Ryan Giggs. Oh, two legends, Pavel Nedved as well. I'm probably going to take Giggs. Um, he just helps things. I could have taken Ribery, but Giggs is high rated and Giggs will link with anyone. We get Kier there and we'll take him because he'll get a link with Giggs, which is really goddamn helpful. It is really helpful. Ooh, Chris Smalling. I could take Chris Smalling. 88 rated. We'll throw him in there for now and we'll see what we get out of this. Right, goalkeepers. There are no German League goalkeepers there. What have we got for defence? English, uh, English, Turkish League and German League. We've got nothing. We've got, we get Tim Krul keeping it cool and that is it. So he's going to have to go in net there. So it's an 86 rated team right now, but it's, it's a mess of a team. The chemistry is not overly important. We'll take that. Ooh, Guardado. Yeah, we, we could take Guardado. Does he get? No, it's a shame we can't get that link to Chicharito there. Otherwise, uh, that'd be quite nice. But um, not the end of the world. All right, we'll take, uh, we'll take any silver player. We're never going to use the silvers, really. Saying that, I have got a silver in the main team. Um, there is no, again, no Bundesliga player here. Um, we'll go with highest rated, which is Osbilis. Oz terrible, terrible card, terrible name, terrible way to say his name. Um, well, we, we are doing BPL a little bit, aren't we? Yeah, we'll take Willian. So we can actually throw Willian on right here and then swap these two bad boys around. And uh, that's, that's where we're at so far with that. So it's, it's quite a high rated team so far. Just why? Stop giving me this Mkhitaryan. I don't want him. I would really, really enjoy any other, like the, the best version. I'd really enjoy the team of the season. We've got four team of the season players so far. So he could take Cells just because he's team of the season. But Leno would work, wouldn't he? Well, I mean, Leno would get one link. We'll take Leno. I could have gone for another team of the season player there, but uh, opted against it. Next up. All right, Ottomendi would be a good shout here because he'll get a link to uh, link to Smalling. David Luiz might be a good shout because he gets a link to Willian. Aurier doesn't work. Let's take Ottomendi on on that one. I don't think Ottomendi can fit into the team too perfectly, but we'll take him anyway. Uh, now now Ottomendi can fit in because we could put Ogbonna, and and now we're gonna have to put Tim Cool keeping it cool back in there. And uh, he gets us a nice big chem boost. And that is that. So uh, this this team is really... Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like EA is screwing me here. We get a Gundogan. We'll take Gundogan. He works for us. He goes in there instead of uh, Pjanic. Definitely much better. And if we swap those two around, uh, like so. We now just need a right wing, really. We just need a good right wing that's going to fit uh, the narrative of the team. Ooh, Vidal. We'll take, uh, we'll take our Churo there. We'll pop him in the team. And I think if we swap these around now, no, we lose Kem. But if we got this guy in here... Wow, we actually gained two Kem by putting this next dude in there. How does that work? Because of a strong link with Vidal. That makes perfect sense. We get on the next pool. 
nothing again. Eredivisie, League One, French League, Premier League, Lukaku, not even team of the season, Lukaku. And then last but not least, we're going to take Ramirez there and we're going to put him in instead of uh, Gundogan and then we're going to swap Gundogan and Vidal around and we're going to get 92 chem out of that. And it's not the uh, not the greatest, but also not the worst. Um, if we put Lukaku here. We do get bonus chem from Lukaku there. We put Gundogan here. We actually get even more bonus chem from Gundogan there because he gives a uh, 10 chem to the other guy. We put Socrates. No, just trying to find like who would be the best person to put there. Maybe even. Uh... In fact, if we put Willian up there, and then put Coleman there, that's 91 chem. What did I have before? I don't think we'll get much better than 91 chem. So we'll. Uh... We'll get the manager in, that's still 91, that's 93, that's 92, that's 92, and that is 95. So we'll take Howell there. So we get 95 uh, chem. I, I don't know if that was me drafting badly, or if that was just this game giving me horrendous picks. I would have thought that with the amount of team of the season players that are available to be pulled right now, I would have got a lot more. Um, I know we've got four uh, on the field right now. Um, but this is bad. But anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the drafting section. Let's get into the gameplay. Okay, guys, as we go into the gameplay, the first opponent we come up against has got a 4-2-2-2 team. And he's got an incredible strike force of Team of the Season, Aubameyang, and Team of the Season, Jamie Vardy. Um, a really well put together team with like that Schmelzer there, the new Team of the Season centre back. I did look at his goalkeeper and think, yeah, we could get a bit lucky with that. But things for me started off really badly and Farman there let in just a really weak goal. And uh, it took me a while to adjust to this formation. Like the 3-4-2-1 was one that we had quite a lot of success with over a short period of time. But it was very hit and miss for me. And, and it really just depended on how quickly I adjusted to the players within the team. And um, having Farman on low chem, I, I didn't get seven chem on him. I thought I got seven chem on him, but he conceded that goal from Alaba there really weakly. That guy scored a really nice goal there with Aaron Ramsey to put himself 2-0 up after 30 minutes. And after that, it was pretty much the David Alaba show. I lost the ball there with Douglas Costa. Hazard into Vardy. Vardy to Alaba. Alaba on his weak foot finesses past this 90-rated Farman like he was a bronze goalkeeper. And then from another corner, Alaba at the near post completes his hat-trick and makes it 4-0 after 45 minutes. So you're probably thinking Nepo is getting the Dench sausage. But let me show you what was really going on. Here's Douglas Costa. He gets to the edge of the box. A beautiful finesse shot off the post. And of course, the rebound doesn't fall kindly to me. A corner comes in. Header. Unbelievable block. Ronaldo with the rebound. Unbelievable save from Forster at the near post. We get another corner instantly. It comes in. The header. Unbelievable save from Forster or a block from Ramsey again. And uh, the ball just didn't seem to want to go in the back of the net for me. The, every, almost every chance this guy was having was fine in the back of the net. Almost every chance I was having was going nowhere near until the 63rd minute. Marco Royce here gets down the left-hand side. And I really, I, honestly, I could have had two or three goals here. And I know it's so easy to say. And it's like, hey, you know, you played bad. Your opponent scored more goals than you. And that's fair enough. You, you, you take what you can get in FIFA. And if I was my opponent, I'd be also happy I was 4-0, 4-1 up. But he gets a red card here. And uh, he'd been doing this like pretty much for, for the whole game, even at 0-0, even at 1-0 up, even at 2-0 up. He was trying these really rash challenges. I ended up eventually buying a red card and uh, the free kick there hit the wall and I uh, couldn't unfortunately really do much uh, with the, the resulting knockdowns or anything like that. But we were really getting back into the game. We've got Cristiano Ronaldo here, got the ball down the right-hand side, cuts inside with a lovely stop and turn, finds Costa in the space. Look at this challenge that comes in on Royce. He tries to foul me in the box, which would have undoubtedly been a red card and a penalty and probably a goal. And that would have been him down to nine men. Instead, Royce, for some reason, rode the challenge and I hit the bar with Bale. Lovely one-two there with Di Maria and Ronaldo. And we hit the bar again and the, 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 the rebound falls off of Bale into Forster. And then just a couple minutes later, he hits me on the counter-attack with Aubameyang. And it's just a beautiful finish. And Aubameyang is just unstoppable. Um... And that made it 5-1 and you know the guy's down to nine men sorry to, to eight men and uh it just I've, I've just been desperately unlucky in front of goal there's no two ways about it i've just been desperately unlucky try another shot there he gets in a last ditch tackle like it just felt like one of those games where just things just weren't going your way and uh 
that's that's FIFA for you. And to the point as well, where in the 85th minute, he, he makes another rash challenge there with Ramsey. He now does go down to nine men. He should have already been down to nine men. That should have been him at eight men. And, you know, you never know what would have happened from then. But once again, the, the chances for me, like Verheig there from the top of the box, no pressure on him, not too much power. It was a decent attempt, just didn't go in. And um, it, that, it was just, that's the way of the game for you. You know, sometimes you come up against teams or, you know, you, you get games where you just can't really get what you want out of it. Um, we do end up scoring a second to make it 5-2. But as you can see in the 89th minute, it's just too little, too late. But even with that being said, things just weren't going my way. He tries to foul me again and again. He misses the first tackle. He somehow gets the ball with the second tackle. And that pretty much signaled the end of the game, guys. So we end up losing 5-2. And I, I'm not kidding. You'll see by the match stats and where my shots were from. I was absolutely dominant in front of goal. Absolutely I just should have scored way more than two goals. But this is FIFA, and if you don't take your chances, you're not going to win the game. 17 shots for me, 12 on target, and only three of them from outside of the box, two of them on the edge of the box, and the rest of them inside the box. And we were just unable to put them in the back of the net. Obviously, his keeper had a 10 rating, but um, that's, that's us out in the first round again. But the last two times we've gone out in the first round, we've packed a blue. Let's see if we can keep that luck up and get into the packs. Okay, guys, so unfortunately, we lost again in the first round. With that being said, in the last five drafts, we've had two finals, which we got nothing from, and two first round exits, which in both videos, we got team of the seasons from. So maybe there's an omen that says, hey, if you finish in first, if you finish in first round, you get a team of the season player. So let's see what the packs we get for the off online are. We get two gold packs and a premium loan reward player pack. Um, I can't imagine we're going to get anything out of that. Um, and in the offline draft, which is obviously where we got Hector Bellerin from before, um, I'm hoping for, again, maybe like the 25k pack would be sick. And we get a premium gold pack and a jumbo premium gold pack. So we've got a couple of packs to open, guys. We'll start with a premium loan player reward pack. We've actually got a good chance of getting a team of the season here. Uh, we end up getting ourselves by looks of things bars ugly. It's Benucci. Um, and uh, the rest of that stuff there won't sell. So we'll discard that. I should have probably kept that Benucci card, but uh, never mind. So the Bundesliga team of the season is in packs. Are EA going to be kind to us and give us one? In pack number one, we get ourselves Judren. Judren. Um, and uh, that is not uh, not good. We'll try and sell that Angel Rangel. So we'll send, uh, we'll send Angel Rangel up. We'll send, uh, we'll send him to the club. I'll, I'll store stuff to the club for now that I think we'll sell and we'll uh, we'll get rid of uh, everything else. We'll discard it. So that was a pretty bad 5k pack to start things off. But you know what's crazy, guys, about Draft the Glory? Draft the Glory was about can we make a profit off of just playing Draft? And we have proven over some time that the answer to that question is yes, we can. And, and it's simply because we get lucky in packs, but... Ultimately, we had a really bad run, like a really bad run of luck. And we still came out and made loads of profit because we packed that team of the season, Bellerine. And I, I just love that. I love the fact that you don't have to be good to get lucky in draft. You just have to be lucky. And are we going to be lucky here today? We get Raphael, not the one that we wanted. We get Sacco there and Gay. Um, that Raphael won't sell. Sacco and Gay might sell. Um, the contracts, fitness cards will sell, White Hart Lane will sell, so we'll send those to the club and we'll discard the rest. And um, although we haven't done well this episode, guys, I am going to be uploading Draft the Glory every single day this week on top of any other bonus videos that we get. So I'm going to be putting a lot of effort to get the Draft the Glories up. They do take a long time to record edit and especially with playing the games because i have to sit there and play the offline stuff as well it does take time so uh if you could drop a thumbs up for that i would appreciate it but let's get into this final pack of jumbo premium gold pack ea what do we get come on hook us up don't hook us down we get nothing we get carver how that's uh that's a little bit um a little bit of a, a disappointment so we'll keep him we'll keep him we'll keep him um whelan and park Ju uh ho might sell so we'll send them straight to the trade pile. We'll keep these contracts and fitness cards. Uh, that German uh, Bundesliga manager there may well sell. So we'll keep those as well. And um, that will be that, guys. So this is going to be the end of Draft of Glory for today. No luck here today, unfortunately. But uh, maybe tomorrow's episode will bring us more luck. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.